Detective Don Carter, NYPD. Where's your warrant? Where's your warrant? Welcome back guys to Fog Entertainment. We're back again with another Power Book 2 video. And of course, I love bringing these videos. I love talking about Power Book 2. Um, and we've got a sneak peek here to discuss, of course. We have got Don Carter meeting with Method Man, Davis. And essentially, he brings forward to him that the fact that they can maybe work together and bring down Tyreek St. Patrick. Now, of course, if you recall with Tyreek last episode, he killed Agent Rodriguez, you know, Junior Faldez, whatever we want to call him, in cold blood. I mean, uh, someone pointed out, I think it was on Reddit, that like how ridiculous it is that like he was going after Tyreek and then Tyreek used his gun to kill the school shooter who killed um, Junior Faldez and what the police just fucking buy that I don't know it, it, it almost seems fucking ridiculous that they would it's, it, it, not, not all it doesn't seem like it's ridiculous it is ridiculous but let's go back, back into this clip and see if Method Man and Don Carr can work together I have a uh, proposal I'm sure there's nothing you can offer me I'd be interested in detective opportunity to practice law again I know, I know, you look at us cops as simple people. I got some fancy friends. In fact, you might have seen a couple of them at your hearing this morning. You need to find a faster way to say whatever the fuck you're saying. Davis, I could use your help. So I guess the real question is, is... <laughs> is he gonna work with Don Carter here to bring down Tyreek? I'm not too sure. This is the final season. Michael Rainey, um, you know, is in news for other reasons, which we could get into um, in a separate video. But let's just stick on topic for this video, right? And it is the final season. They kind of pretend that, oh, we didn't actually know it was going to be the final season. But, of course, now we, they did know. It's probably going to wrap up that way. Is Tyreek St. Patrick going to die? Or is he going to go to jail? Personally, I think it would be better if he went to jail. Because it keeps the character alive and he doesn't escape all his previous sins. And I think it would be a pretty good plot twist if he ended up in jail. Kenan went to jail in the original par. Looking forward to seeing how all that stuff gets wrapped up. Is that going to happen in Raising Kenan though? It's probably not because it's, pr it's probably going to be that origin show with Ghost and Tommy. It's going to put Kenan in jail. So, yeah, there's a lot of questions to be asked with the future of par. And here's... You know, it's not the greatest TV show or series of all time. I mean, it's very good. I do enjoy watching it. And in terms of stuff floating about in 2024, I mean, you'll struggle to find, like, an actual franchise still kicking about. And I know you've got House of the Dragon and The Walking Dead's got a million spin-offs. But here, if you're into your, your, your gangster shit, if you're into your real life, the real McCoy out in the streets, you know, your Breaking Bad, your Sopranos, your Sons of Anarchy, where it's, like, real life time shit going on, this is why I like Par and... Yeah, anyway guys, that's where we're going to leave this video. Personally, I don't think Davis will side with Don Carr. If anything, he'll probably tell Tariq, which kind of makes no sense. But then to get his law license back, you never know. But I think if he does that, Davis will probably end up dying. But I've seen a lot of people talking about a, a Davis spin-off.